Brie the Brat here. I have this color form Holly Hobby set. It's the Magic Dollhouse and the General Store and a bunch of color forms. But somebody sent it back to me because this 40 year old color form set, the color forms don't stick. Did you ever have that problem when you were young and your color forms didn't stick? Well, what am I supposed to do? I can't say, well, you can't expect something that's 40 year old to work like it originally did. But then again, I didn't say that it doesn't work as great as it originally did. So here I am. I refunded the money happily and we're going to figure this color form thing out. How can we make our color forms stick? Let's get into it. Okay, so color forms. Now when we were a kid, you know, we put them back in the box and they sat like this in a bunch. Well, that has done some damage to the back of these and I don't know if you can really see are you getting anything from the waviness? Mm, yeah, I can see. Kind that. of the waviness on here. What we want to do is get these things completely flat so they sit right across against this completely flat. So there's that, but there's also this thing is 40 years old. There is 40 years of grime and play and snot and water droplets and who knows what cake to the surface of everything here. So let's clean it first. Tears, blood, mud, and root beer. Yikes. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so, okay, so what I'm going to do to clean these surfaces is I want to be gentle because they are old, but they're a... Um, kind of a gloss finish paper. So I want to get something that doesn't have too much lint coming off of it. So I figured a tea towel is the best. So I got an old tea towel that's stained already because it's probably dirty. And I got some Windex kind of stuff just because it takes the yuck off, but it also doesn't leave residue and it dries really fast. So I'm just going to spray it on here and wipe it down. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to wipe down all these surfaces and then I'm going to let them dry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all of these. Now cleaning individually like that, is too much of a mess. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of dish soap in here in a bowl and then I'm going to put warm water in here and I have some paper towels ready to go and now I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to put them in this soapy water and just try to separate them out a little bit and I just let them soak in there for a little bit let them soak in there, kind of rinse them around. I'm going to let them sit and then I'm going to just um, gently, kind of with my finger, clean grime off of them. Put them back in the water, clean some grime off of them and then rinse them. And being very careful to hold on to them so they don't go down the sink or anything. Just rinse them off. and then lay them out this side up so there's no lint from the paper towel getting on that side and let them dry. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll let them dry and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now that I have them all cleaned up, I'm gonna let them dry. I'm actually gonna go back over with a lint-free um, towel and get all these little water droplets so we don't have water lines now forming on a, 
our nice clean color forms. And then I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to finish cleaning these off and finish cleaning those up and then we'll come back. Okay, now I've got a piece. This is clean and dry. This is clean and dry. And I'm going to try to put it on here. Pretty okay, but it could fall down. The, the next thing I'm going to suggest is that since it works with static cling, you got to give it a little static. So I have this polyester fabric right here and I'm just going to, and it's dry and this is dry and I'm just going to rub it around real fast, gently, and just cause some static electricity to build up all over my color form sheet. Okay, put our piece back on, see if it sticks a little better. There you go. Is it going to drop? Is it going to drop? Is it going to drop? So there we go. Um, that I I think is a good way to, if it's, if it's cold outside or if it's a little wet outside, you might need to do that in a warm, dry environment because that's what the static stays with. If, say, you bought a color form set, you got it right out of the box, it might be cold and moist outside, so none of your pieces are going to stick right away. But if you let everything warm up and you put some polyester on there to cause some real good static cling, things will stick. So, okay, let's go to the next step. So, say that's not working and it's still not sticking after all of this, the next thing that we can do, it's a little more high risk and you gotta be very careful, but let's try it. So look at this piece. It's got a bend in it. There is no way that that one is sticking. And a lot of these, since they were piled up on each other, have, you know, they're kind of misshapen. And really the best thing is for them to be completely flat like when you got them. So with vinyl like this, you got to be very careful and maybe older vinyl is better and newer vinyl not so much. So you got to be careful with this. I'm going to use a blow dryer on its lowest setting so it doesn't blow away and with the heat and I'm just going to focus it on there probably about two or three inches away. I'm letting it heat up here. And it gets pretty hot on my hands, so it's as much as I can handle, you know. But you can see it's starting to relax on its own. I'm going to flip it over too. Give it a little heat on this side. And since it's getting a little hot from my hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and I'm going to put it on a very clean smooth surface. I have this paper over here and I'm going to just put it down on there since it's hot right now and it's going to hopefully dry or not dry but cool down to the form it's supposed to be. Let's do this one. Now you can see she's got a little bend in her neck and I don't know if she's a little bit wavy. And this is a good tip for um, some plastic or vinyl toys that are bent out of shape. Like I had a Jedi that was just a molded Jedi who was bent out of shape a little bit. His lightsaber was going crooked. Put a little heat on him from the blow dryer. Lightsaber straightened right back up by itself. He went all back in form. Okay, now I'm going to put this one down on here too and let that one cool down. And let's see, let's find another one. How about this chair is really wavy. Let's, can you see that at all? Yep. Yeah. So let's see if we can flatten this out. Now, if you 
if it starts to curl up on its own, that's a bad sign that it's too hot. You just want it to flatten out. Okay, we'll let those sit and cool down and then we'll see if how well they attach. Okay, let's see how they turned out these dented ones and see if there's still a little bit of a dent in there. But when I put it down on the thing, it lays completely smooth. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So a little bit of a crease. But, but she sits on there pretty well. So these are all ones that I have made sure that there aren't any dents in. They're all clean and dry and on this thing and there you go. They're sticking. Now we'll see if they stick on the play sets. All right, now I have them all cleaned. They're all wrinkle free. They're on there, not falling off. Let's see if I can peel and stick and play or what. See how we do here. Let's go to the general store. Let's see. Um, I think there's, maybe we'll put a guitar in the attic. And we'll have a little uh, butter churn right there. Put some apples on the shelf. Is that something that happens? Sure. <laughs> Some lettuce on top of that. Mm. How about Maybe something in the display? Some bread in the display case. Yeah. Keep it fresh. Um, yep. Any donuts? Let's Cakes? see. What else do we have? I saw cakes somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a pie. Oh, a pie. Put a pie in there. Yeah. Um... Let's see. What about the... Uh, how about a squirrel in the attic? Oh, yeah. How about, does anything... Uh oh, look at that squirrel. He's run down the side. Uh oh He is a stiffer kind of material. I wonder... He's from another set, maybe. He's from... Some sort. Maybe. Well, he's staying there now. Okay. Something for this shelf. Oh, gotcha. I need some eggs down there? Or? Let's see. Maybe the eggs should be on the counter. Maybe some pet food. <gasps> but he's about to buy some eggs. Maybe we'll put a dress on this dress for him. Oh. Cute. Um, oh, I found the cake. Well, I would say that's pretty good. Look at that. I All think those it things. is pretty good. Very impressed that you were able to troubleshoot and figure this out. Took a lot of work. You know, it was a lot of work on your part, but I got a feeling this is going to help a lot of people, especially people that collect um, color forms. Color forms, yeah. Because I know even myself as a kid, I loved color forms, but only when they were brand new, because after that, they never stuck. And um, then I also collect a lot of Holly Hobby. And I have a color form Holly Hobby. And now that I know what you have to do to make them work, I'm going to have to dig mine out and clean mine up. Oh, let's and see if these girls can wear little bonnets. This will be a trick. Let's see if we can get them with a the bonnet on. Okay. Is that bonnet too small for her? No. No. Maybe. A good Let's one. see. Give her another apron to wear. Oh yeah. Maybe oh. we should put bonnet over. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sounded like it. Was I think her ears good. are sticking out. <laughs> there 
she goes. Let's see another girl here. Give her a bonnet to wear. We have to match her dress, huh? And maybe. Does she have a baby? For There's a baby doll that goes in there. Uh-oh. Meatball doesn't like the baby doll. He's barking at her. He likes babies. He wants to come see her. Well, there we go. All of those things are sticking up there just fine. Pretty nice. Well, there you go. We'll have to see after time if they fall down how long it takes them. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. And this one, I put this on here quite a while ago. Still holding on strong. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see if I can put more things on the house here. Okay, this is the this is the one I'm worried that won't stay because it's so big. Let's see. Stays just fine. Well, there you go. Pretty cool. Did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Now let me get a light and see if we can see what makes this a magic dollhouse. And then we'll be done with the presentation. <laughs> She put a light behind it. Oh, cute. So I have it facing down, so these parts aren't quite showing, but uh -huh. everything else is. You can see how the stained glass would shine on it. That's what makes it magic. See this lamp is shining down here. The fireplace. This window is shining over the floor. Yep. Magic. Super cute. Super cute. Whoops. The stove is on fire. Oh, cute. Super cute. Wow. That's adorable. This is a pretty powerful light, though. I think you might have to have something a little better than a lamp. I think with just a lamp, you'd probably get about that. Probably. So cute. So there it is. Color form sticking just like they used to when they were new. Doing pretty good. Everything's still on there. And uh, yeah, looks like everything's sticking pretty well. I think I'll give it some time. See if they keep staying put. And that's the key. Make sure your old color forms are clean and flat and that your surfaces are clean and flat and have plenty of static going on them yeah remember that polyester rag to rub across it just cool. simple polyester fabric all right well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye